Have you realized that most of the cab drivers are angry, anxious, just moody, all in all? Stop. Yeah. What the fuck is they got my face? Out of my car now! Here I was at your destination. It's over. Get out of my car now. It said 17. Get out of my car now! Well, I dedicate this video to the life of Douglas Schifter. A taxi driver in New York has committed suicide outside City Hall. He left a note on Facebook accusing politicians of failing to protect his industry. Douglas Schifter is believed to be the third New York City driver to commit suicide in the past three months. As we know, Uber, Lyft, Via, Get and Juno are the biggest competition to the yellow cab industry. I decided to go to JFK Airport lot and have a conversation with both Uber and yellow cab drivers. Video, but also like Uber, also like you're going uh, getting down. You have to mention that things too. Exactly, I'm, it's pretty cold. But I just talked to a guy. He works at a government official. He basically represents a different country, and he has an official job. He does. He didn't want to be in the video because uh, the place he works for is basically doesn't know that he's an Uber driver. He works at a high-ranking place. Yeah. So guys, basically I'm in the lot right now. I'm in the Uber lot. It's pretty cold. Uh, the taxi lot is right behind me. They did not allow me to film uh, and talk to the drivers. So let's try to find people who were actually willing to talk and share their opinions about uh, the cab industry. Uh, yep. Do you mind making a right turn? Yeah, now this is the more passenger, uh, yeah, less passenger, like a more driver, no control, lot of uh, like around 80,000 Uber driver. 80,000 Uber drivers? I had that, so I, am, I don't know the actual figure. I think it's 100,000 cars out there. Yeah. 100,000 cars. And there uh, is a no control, a no place. Uh, you have a good example. The people killed themselves. Uh, th that means this is behind. He was upset. He don't get any solution, so he killed himself. You know, Uber, Uber and Lyft, they both together collectively spent 33% more than Walmart and lobbying uh, politicians. Uh, lobbying is a fancy word of bribing basically, you know? They pay the politicians and politicians make laws towards the benefits of the company. Thank you so much, boss. Yeah, basically this was the situation. Uh, I'm gonna go back to my car and drive to Brooklyn and finish the video. And this was the ride. I mean, what can I say? This is a... This is the situation in New York with the cab drivers. Most of them are angry, anxious, uh, the pay is really low, uh, and they're expecting for the government officials to change laws for their benefits, not for uh, the benefits of the company. Well, uh, I'm gonna interrupt right here and stop the video because I do not have enough footage and I do not have enough uh, uh, people talking to the camera because uh, not everyone wants to be in the camera. But I've got a lot of words from the drivers. Basically, what they're saying is there are oversupply of drivers out there and there is less demand. There are so many drivers in New York City that every other car you look at is basically a taxi or a TLC, taxi and limousine commission car. Uh, yes. Uh, my solution, I have a proposition to TLC and uh, Governor Cuomo and uh, Mayor de Blasio. Uh, they can uh, assess all the drivers to a test again. Uh, road test, drug test, um, um, ability to speak English test, uh, ESL test, basically. And this is the solution to have a healthy economy uh, and have a healthy workspace so we don't see another person going out there and shooting themselves right in front of city hall to get a message across because all the politicians are closing their eyes and ears and mouths uh, because they're getting paid by uh, a huge corporations like uber lyft 
and other ride hailing apps so let's bring up the topic let's talk about it let's just uh, rant about this for now comment down below what you guys think about the situation and I hope uh, um, you guys like this video and my condolences to uh, Douglas Shifter's family uh, stay strong um, we all drivers are uh, going through the same position in one way or another uh, me being young, I still have chances, but uh, I hope everyone go gets through this hard times and um, make it through. Alright guys, uh, peace out. I'm going to leave you guys right here.